Hi, I'm Mary Ann Bonetti, and today I'm going to tell you how to be a plant detective and figure out what is killing your plants. Now, I answer gardening questions on a website, plantersplace.com, and people are always sending me pictures of dying and sick plants or describing how their plant died. So, here is an ivy topiary I've had in my own garden for about 10 years, I admit it. I have not repotted this for 10 years. And look it, one of these things is not like the other. Here is the healthy ivy topiary, and here is one that was nearby it that just died. So, the first thing I'm going to check when I see a, a dead ivy plant like this is I look at the back of the leaves. What I'm looking for is spider mite. I don't see any webbing, and I look closely, I see no little white dots. So, I'm not going to suspect that spider mite killed this. I see no other evidence of insect damage. Okay, number two, the time of year. It is late summer, and it was a very hot and dry summer in the Pacific Northwest, so obviously I suspect the pot dried out, the ivy died. However, when I go to check the soil, I notice that, whoa, this pot is very heavy. It shouldn't be that heavy because these are really not stone pots. They are just, you know, faux pots that are made out of plastic that I spray painted black. Because it's heavy, it makes me think I bet it's full of water. Sure enough, when I go down and check the soil, it is so dark and muddy. This pot did not get adequate drainage, therefore the ivy plant simply drowned. So a plant that is dried out and is all crispy and light like this looks just the same as a plant that has drowned. Because now, why did the plant drown? Well, most likely, it's the drainage hole. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this pot over here. We're going to check the drainage hole because all plants need to have good drainage. So let me turn this over. Wow, sure enough, look at this. Here's a drainage hole and it is totally clogged by roots from this ivy plant that has been stuck in a pot for 10 years. So what's the solution? Well, I think I'm going to just toss this entire ivy plant and start fresh with fresh potting soil. Um, and what I'm going to do with that drainage hole, learn my lesson, I'm going to cover the drainage hole with this. Okay, this is a coffee filter, and I started putting these in the bottom of my pots uh, to protect the drainage hole so that roots cannot go through those big drainage holes and clog them up. And I also have to follow my own advice and not let the same plants grow in the same containers for 10 years. I should kind of probably repot them more often. So. This has been Mary Ann Benetti with Easy Answers for Great Gardens.